Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Hi there, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today we are covering, yes, that, that sacred time every spring that every young tool bear looks forward to. That's Spring Black Friday. Yeah, it's just around the corner here. This weekend, in fact. So we're taking a look here at the Home Depot Spring Black Friday sales ad and event. And the first thing we got is mulch, mulch, and more good mulch. Yeah, we got red mulch and brown mulch. I know, it's terribly exciting. But let's see what else we might find here. Uh, we got the uh, five burner gas grill for 160. Man, they're just oh, churning these things out. I remember when these stainless grills all used to be like $500 or something like that. And now you can pick them up for next to nothing. Uh, you know, I love charcoal as much as the next bear, but there's something to be said for the convenience of just going out there and turning on the old grill and cooking up a burger. Uh, let's see. You know, this 120-gallon uh, Brightwood uh, resin uh, deck box, man, those things are really useful. Great for keeping the backyard, you know, clutter-free. You can put uh, cushions and stuff in it, maybe the kids' uh, toys, outdoor toys, stuff like that in there. And uh, over here, we got some one-day savings. And one of them, let's see here, April 6th, is those infamous black and yellow boxes. Man, they're all over our house. I don't know about you guys, but we use them for everything. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, the free sprayer when you buy a, a bag of Roundup. So when you get your bottle of cancer, uh, I, I know, I know I'm guilty of using the stuff myself. <laughs> it kills weeds and everything else dead. Uh, let's see what else we might have here. Uh, we got Quick Crate for six eighty eight. I might have to pick up some of that. And we've got the M18 Fuel Blower. Was was it one sixty nine? Now one oh nine. Uh, the bear doesn't have his little bear goggles on there. I need to, I need to admit that I, I need to be wearing my glasses more often. Anyway, if you're already invested in the M18 line, it's got to be great to see that they're putting more emphasis into the uh, lawn and garden segment. Because, you know, when you're a guy and you're invested in these tools, you know, you, you got to take care of the house anyway. And that means the yard as well. And not being able, not having to buy a whole separate, you know, line of batteries is, is a great thing. And we got the was that we got a pressure washer here, three thousand psi. That's nice for three eighty nine. All right, let's see what else Home Depot's got for us. All right, we got grills, grills, and grills. We got the Traeger. Is that how you pronounce it? Traeger. Set it and forget it. <laughs> no, no. If it's a Traeger, do not set it and forget it. All right, it, it, it's a great system. It's really cool, but apparently it's also 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 apparently it's also really easy to set on fire uh those pellets that they uh, break down and they get stuck in the little churning mechanism and the fire has from the uh, the box has found a way to work its way back into the feeder and really set the whole thing on fire you, they're great systems but if you don't use them exactly right or if there's a problem there can be a big problem with them i'm not saying don't get them but I'm, I'm also saying don't set it and forget it. Uh, what else we got here? We got a, another 22 pellet. What was it? Eastwood 22 wood pellet grill for $600. And a charcoal grill for 100 bucks. Now, does it offset box can be used as much? So it does come with the offset box. That's pretty nice. If you're looking to do a little bit of smoke in the summer and stuff, that, that's not a bad little one to start off with. You know, there's, there's better systems out there for sure, but if you're just wanting to try it out and see if it's something you want to get into, you know, you pick up one of those, use it for a summer. If you decide you want to move up to something else, you know, uh, you could sell it, get something better. Or, you know, if you just want to use it as a secondary one, I'll be honest, this bear's got three grills, all right? I, I've got a combo charcoal gas with a smoker box. I've got a, a Weber, uh, and I've got a... Um, a whole camping, uh, what do you call it? Uh, camping kitchen style. It's like a three burner. It's a huge thing. It's awesome. That's honestly the one we use the most. I should do a video on that. All right, we get some outdoor furniture. Now, I know a lot of people like these uh, these umbrellas with the glass table and stuff. I'm not a fan of them. I'm, I'm really not. It, it's They never look good. Those glass tabletops, you know, maybe you guys like them. You know, it's a, it's a personal thing how you like to decorate your den. 
I'm a big fan, actually, of the faux wicker over here on the right. You know, maybe that's just how I, I grew up, you know, but the, uh, it, it's a little bit more comfortable, you know, with the rounded arms and stuff. And, uh, you know, 547 honestly, for a set like that, that is cheap. Gazebo. So you can get your own personal kite for $199. That's a, that's a big kite, man. That thing will fly nice. All right, I joke. I, I live in Vegas, which is one of the windiest places on earth. And in the summer, we go to Livingston, Montana, which is <laughs> even windier if that's possible. Oh, anyway. Nature's Care Organic Soil prevents over and under watering. All righty. Oh, I like that half barrel there. Uh, the faux half barrel for uh, 1588 I know, I know, it's not the real thing, but... If you ever had real barrels, especially if you live in any extreme climates, you know, they break down. Uh, retaining brick wall for two ninety eight. Those Those have a nice look to them. Oh, the step stones. I like that terracotta look. I don't know about you, but uh, that's a big one for me. All right, now we're getting into the meat of it. We got ourselves some of the Echo. Uh, the We got gas-powered trimmer and blowers. I, you know what? I know a lot of you still like that stuff, but man, I bought myself an electric mower about six years ago and you couldn't pay me to go back to gas. There's, there's just no two way. The convenience, I mean, if I was a professional going out and doing lawns all day long, yeah, you couldn't rely on, uh, on electric. Probably you'd have a whole bank of batteries. You'd have to be charging and stuff, but for the average homeowner, Gas is just a joke compared to what you can do with electric. We got over here, we got the Ryobi. We got a blower and a trimmer for $69.88. I'll, I'll be honest, this trimmer is not the most robust thing out there. It will get the job done, but man, you drop it once. I've seen lots of these broken in half. Now this blower below it, <laughs> that thing's a beast. But again, you're getting back to gas at that point. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Da, da, da. We got here. Here you go. 159 for either of these. You got the uh, the 40 volt string trimmer and the 40 volt jet fan blower, both from Ryobi. These things were great. You, you will do your entire yard with those. Not a problem. We got the Ryobi exclusive 1600 psi electric pressure washer, three quick connect nozzles, clean variety of services. Nice, nice and compact. Uh, I'd like to get a chance to play around with that. Yeah, but if you get real pressure washing to do, these things are great for washing your car and maybe cleaning off the deck and stuff. But if you really want to like take take the uh, you know siding off your house kind of thing, you need one of these uh, these gas pressure washers. The thirty one hundred psi here, something like that, or, or even this Dewalt over here with the Honda engine. That's a nice combo. Here we go. Gas mowers, uh, ready stir gas mower, and another high wheel self propelled. Why, why is it sideways? Folds up. I mean, what mower doesn't? Don't they all have that little thing where you can turn the, little, the handles and fold it up? The one thing I will tell you about it, if you're thinking about going with electric, is take a look at your local clean air board. All right. That, that's the people who, you know, the local government who checks like, you know, air purity levels and stuff like that and pollution and whatnot. A lot of them, uh, especially in some of your bluer states, have these uh, things every spring where they'll give you money to buy back your gas mower if you buy an electric mower. Uh, in fact, when I got mine, they were giving, a, what was it? I think it was $150. And I didn't have a gas mower at the time. I just bought my house. And so what I did was I went to every garage sale and I found a cheap, running mower for 20 bucks bought that turned that in got a 150 dollar credit towards my electric mower i mean taking those gas mowers off the street makes you feel good right all right we got the ryobi uh what is it the 150 piece driver bit set for 1988 that is that you know that set is really a piece of junk <laughs> I, I know i have it every one of those bits man they're like made of butter all right, uh, the Ryobi 199 set. If you're a homeowner looking for your basic DIY kind of set, that's a great set to get. There's just, you know, that, that saw, it's great for ripping down sheet material. You're not going to cut through a 4x4, you know, with it, at least not easily. Uh, but 
and and I'll be honest, I was not overwhelmed with the resip saw. But the thing about a resip saw is you just let it keep working. You let the blade do the work and it will get through the material. And the same with that multi-tool. That multi-tool, that's a nice little tool. And you get the, the, the drill driver. And at least it's not the one with that stupidly long snout on it and the impact there. As I said, you know, it's not a pro tool, but for 200 bucks, you're going to be hard-pressed to come up with something. I mean, it's got one, two, three, four, five actual tools. You know, they throw the light in, yeah, the light, whatever. But that's five real tools that a homeowner could really use. So for your DIYer types, that's not a bad deal. Then below it, we got the rigid. You know, I I don't talk a lot about rigid because I'm not too thrilled with the way the company's been standing behind their lifetime warranty. Uh, they, uh, I used to be a huge fan of rigid, but I've just heard too many horror stories, seen too much, seen some of it myself about them being like, no, you know, we're not going to take it here at the store. You have to send it in. I'm like, it, by the time I send it in and pay for shipping, it's half the price of the tool. That's not much of a warranty. Anyway, in fact, now they're saying on many cases that they want you to put a credit card down before you send it in. So when they do determine that, that it's abuse, which they do a lot these days, that they just charge you without even asking you. So anyway... But, I mean, the price is $300 for that set. The thing is, they're good tools, man. For Hybe, especially with the Octane stuff, they make some great tools. And I, they have my favorite multi-tool of, of any company out there. The one where you can change the heads to different tools. I mean, that's a real multi-tool. We got the Milwaukee Sawzall Pack for $26.22. That's a nice deal. And the tape measure for $9.97. I don't know. I haven't used that tape measure. Any of you ever used it? I mean, that's a nice price on a tape measure. Shockwave Impact Duty Set for $19.97. I'll have to take a closer look at that. And we got some performance work gloves for $9.97. You know, I've liked some of the Milwaukee gloves that I've used. Uh, I know I, I've always kind of, you know, just defaulted to the mechanics gloves. But the, I, they, they're pretty nice, actually. Uh, we got DeWalt. The DeWalt bits. I'm sorry, but the DeWalt bits suck. Um, they're not as bad as, as the Ryobi bits, but I wouldn't buy the DeWalt bits. Um, Max Fit Ratcheting Screwdriver with the one piece that nobody knows about. Uh, DeWalt Air Compressors. The Pancake Air Compressors, man. At that price, I would... What is that? Six gallon? Yeah. I mean, they're not bad for nailing and stuff. I, I would go, you know... If you're gonna go cheap, go Harbor Freight or Porter Cable. If you're if you want silent, man, that that new uh, four gallon from uh, the Fortress from Harbor Freight. Uh, three pack of folding lockback utility knives. Now that's not bad. You know Husky has some good inexpensive tools there. Fourteen ninety seven. That's a good price for a three pack of those. I love these lockback uh, folding utility uh, knives. I would never go back to a traditional utility knife. And we got a wet dry vac, four gallon for 25 bucks. Uh, what else we got here? 111 piece mechanics tool set for $59.77. Includes quarter inch and three eighths inch, three eighths inch. No half inch. That, that's, how do you call it a mechanic set with no half inch? Here's a Stanley, is that a Stanley tape measure for 20 bucks, but you get a free folding knife with it. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen these tape measures for cheap enough that I could buy the folding knife separately. All right, this paint here, if you're looking for paints and stains, th this is by far the best paint out there. I don't know how good it is, but it's got a bear on it, so it must be good, right? All right, check this out. Look at this. 22-inch reach aluminum multi-position ladder. This is their version of the Little Giant for 109 That's a great price. Uh, I have not used this ladder though, so I can't really say whether, how, how good it is, but it's got a 375 weight capacity. That's, that's, sounds pretty hefty. Uh, what else we got? I like that shower head. I'm a big one for the, the natural rain kind of shower head kind of stuff. I know, I know I'm a fancy bear. Uh, we got 185 piece mechanic set for one, uh, 120 here. This one has half inch. Here we go. M18, 18 volt, two tool with 1.5 battery for 160, the Milwaukee's. And next to it, we've got the DeWalt 
Essentially the same thing for 160. Guys and gals, uh, <clears throat> this is where Mr. Bear has to step in and tell you to uh, put the credit card down, step away, son. It, it's not worth it. I'm sorry. All right. And, and yeah, I know you're going to think, well, the bear just hates DeWalt. And blah, blah. I, okay. I'm not a fan of DeWalt these days. The higher end stuff, sure. And the Milwaukee, again, the higher end stuff. The DeWalt cheap stuff, this, this drill, this drill on this, the DeWalt drill is junk. Just literally junk. All right. The, the impact isn't so bad, but uh, the drill itself is, is, is a joke. And the Milwaukee, you know, for 159 I don't like to be the one who sits there and says, oh, you need to save up and spend a bit more. But right now, you can get the Milwaukee. I was just talking with some guy. He was trying to claim that this was the, the brushless. This is not the brushless set, okay? This is your straight brushed basic set. And at 160 you're not doing yourself any favors. The go and get the Hercules, or or even a Ryobi set. It's going to do as well as these. But the brushless Milwaukee, the fuel stuff. Oh my gosh! All right, see, look at look at these right right here. This this is the set you want. M18 18 volt lithium ion brushless cordless drill driver impact combo. Two tools with two two point amp hour batteries. So you're getting. Not, not only are you getting the, the brushless system and the packout case, you're getting a full amp hour more in batteries for $40. They're just, with the, oh my gosh, this is so much a better deal than the other one. Although, you know, I will say this, guys, please don't try to call the bear out on stuff. I had somebody this morning trying to say, you know, you don't cover enough you know, Milwaukee tools because you could buy this system for 150 bucks. Like, you know what? The bear knows how to use Google. All right. <laughs> these guys who come in and try to claim, make all these fanboy kind of claims. Anyway, <laughs> the point is though, it's not $150. The brushed set is 159. The brushless though, I mean, for 40 bucks more, I, I hate to be the bear saying you need to step up and pay a bit more, but that's not that much more, you know, as when you're talking about a, a brush set versus a brushless. And I know, and sometimes you'll hear the bear say that brushed isn't that big of a deal versus brushless. And in many cases, it's not. But Milwaukee puts so much more effort into their brushless sets. It, it really is important when you're buying the Milwaukee tools to go brushless when you can. All right. Anyway. That, that's what you need to get. I know it's not part of the, you know, Black Friday sale and all, but it's still, that's the one you want to get if you're going that route. Anyway, if you guys are headed over to Home Depot and you pick up anything, let the bear know below what you got or what you're planning to get or what you're looking for. And if you're looking for any other deals or something, hey, let us know. Maybe we can scout them out for you. Don't forget to check out if you want real deals or you want to talk about tools in earnest, go over to denoftools.com and join the forum. There's only so much you can do discussion-wise here on the uh, uh, on the old YouTubes there. It's hard to get a lot of back and forth there in the comments. So if you really want to talk tools and you want to find like the great deals, like the stuff I talk about with the Cobalt tools and stuff I found, go over to DetaTools.com and we have a whole section on tool deals over there to help you find those. All right, that's all the bear has for you today. Take care and happy spring. Happy spring? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm pretty happy. I got spring in my step. <laughs> Shine on.